Hello fans, I've got a vintage 50mm lens for you today. It's a special one, it doesn't fit all Leica M cameras despite it being a Leica M out lens. Today we are looking at the vintage Leica Summicron 50mm f2 dual range or DR. This video will give you the lens spec, example photos, characters of the lens, which cameras it will and will not fit, any limitations and then stay to the end and I'll let you know if I can recommend this lens. Let's jump in. Hi guys, Matt here from MrLeica.com. I'm a UK Leica photographer, portraits, weddings, workshops, and YouTube as you see me here. First of all, I'd like to say a huge thanks to you guys as we just went past the 20,000 subscribers mark. It took about 275 Leica related videos or Leica and film related videos. And so far around 32% of you are subscribed. And if you're a regular viewer and you enjoy Leica related content, I really appreciate it if you take a second to hit the subscribe button. Okay, let's get on to the Sumcrod lens. This lens is solid brass like many of the old vintage lenses and it's got an optical formula of seven elements in five groups and ten aperture blades. The minimum close focus distance in standard mode is one meter, but if you use it with the close focus goggles, you can focus as close as 0.478 meters. Sadly, this doesn't work on all like M cameras and I'll come on to that later in the video. The field size of this lens is 39 mil and being solid brass it weighs 339 grams or 12 ounces which is quite weighty for a Leica lens. If you saw my last video on the Leica M240 I recently took the Summicron DR and another 50mm lens to Poland I'll link my 50mm playlist at the end. I think there's more than 20 videos so if you like 50mm that's definitely worth checking out. Okay so what about the couch of this lens? Here you can see the sharpness of the lens shot wide open at f2 with the rangefinder and again f2 using live view to check it as sharp as it can be. Here's me using the lock as a, a subject to test the sharpness and here's the same lock with the goggles attached. This lens doesn't show many problems with in terms of distortion and when it comes to vignetting at f2 you can see there is some vignetting but it goes as you stop down. As for sun stars it's not the best lens for sun stars but you can get some f11, f16 for lens flare, if you point the lens at the sun, as you can see in these examples, it will flare. But in most cases, you just get a lower contrast. Here's a few examples of me just walking around photographing things that caught my eye. And these were shot probably f2, f2.8. Then what about bokeh? As you can see, the bokeh in the centre is more circular. And then at the edges, you get more like cat eye bokeh. Very pretty lens if you like bokeh shots, as you can see here. Okay, so if you follow my work on MrLeica.com, you know I tend to shoot female black and white portraits. How do they look in colour? So these are raw files with the Mr. Leica black and white preset added. And then all I've done is for the colour shots, I've just changed the colour treatment slider in Lightroom from black and white to colour. So you basically get a colour preset free with every black and white preset <laughs> if you just change the slider. Uh, I really like the colours, especially this tram shot where you can see the oranges are really vibrant. I was really impressed with the lens. Okay let's have a look at a few more example photos. First digital with the Leica M240. So as I say these are all raw files with black and white Mr. Leica preset added and hopefully it gives you some idea of what the lens can do. You can see the dropping contrast in that shot as I was pointing towards the light and you can see the really nice bokeh as you get closer to your subjects and the 3D pop in that other shot. If you love the idea of photographing models but don't know where to start, you can get my free ebook model photography guide and in the first link in the description below. And hopefully if you want to do something like this, you can. Okay, for fellow film fans, I also shot the lens on my like M3. Uh, there's quite a few photos of girls holding cameras, so I do apologise, but it gives you some idea of a video to come soon with that TLR camera. Again, I'll shoot the lens F2 for pretty much all the photos, maybe a couple at 2.8. And I was pretty happy with the results. So it was sharp enough, decent contrast. And the only problem is, you can see here, there's a hole in the shutter of my Leica M3. So I need to refix that. Okay, so those are the photos. What about the limitations of this lens? Because this is quite important. This lens works perfectly, to my knowledge, on all Leica M film bodies. If you know any different, please let me know in the comments. But I've used it successfully on the M2, M3, M4P and M6, both with and without goggles. What about digital cameras? This is where it's less ideal. If you use a like M8 or the like M9, you can focus the lens without the goggles between distances of roughly one to four meters. The close focus goggles won't fit because of the height of the camera body. For the like M240, the goggles do fit. 
they look like they don't quite fit because they're not quite flush but you can definitely get sharp focus between 0.478 meters to one meter with the close focus goggles on the m240 because that's how i've used it without the goggles on the m240 you can focus up to around eight meters so one to eight meters without the goggles and then after that the lens won't let you turn any further if you buy this lens and it won't fit your camera and you like matt said it fits and it doesn't fit you need to make sure you set the distance on the lens to one meter before you put the lens onto your camera or take the lens off your camera otherwise it either won't go on or it won't come off if you use it like m10 or like m11 if you've got any experience using this lens does it fit does it not fit with or without goggles please let us know in the comments what about price i bought my lens back in 2015 on a photo shoot trip in munich i just walked into a, an old camera shop and just accidentally found it tried it took about five photos and I'm like mm, this is really good bought it straight away the prices have gone up since then and looking on ebay the cheapest i can find is around 650 pounds going up to over 1300 pounds so there's quite a huge difference in price can i recommend the simicron dual range I would say yes, it, I would say it renders really nicely. I use it for mostly black and white, but as you see in the color photos I shared, it does give you really nice colors as well. It does give you that rare option of focusing on like an M camera at closer than 0.7 meters. The other way you can get around it is using the Leica Elmar 50 f 2.8 with close focus goggles. Is it the best 50mm vintage lens? I would say no. Stay tuned for the next 50mm lens video because that's a special lens. And with that, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. As always, a huge thanks to my amazing patrons. Feel free to join us. We have two calls every month. And if you want to see how this 50mm lens compares to other 50mm lens for Leica, click my 50mm playlist next.